Good afternoon, morning, or evening to those of you who are watching. Today we're going to do a, another break. Haven't done a break in about a week, so I want to do another one. And I really want to do a, a try to get better at this, you know. And hopefully, you guys enjoy these videos. I've gotten a lot of feedback. A lot of people seem to like the content. I have a lot of questions. I'll try to answer some of the more questions that come up during the video. But let's get right to it and start breaking this uh, this product. Let me share my screen. Just give me a second. I'll set that up right now. So you can see this is the my Upper Deck EPAC platform. And this is where I'm going to bust, uh, I believe I have eight packs of metal. You have eight packs of metal. I'm using the bigger screen. Hopefully this is more clear. Um, some people complained it was a little too small. I'll zoom in a bit just so everyone can see it. Um, before I get into it, I want to quickly just uh, answer a few questions that came out. So a couple of people had mentioned they were kind of confused as to what, what is this all about? What is EPAC? So I uh, didn't do a good job explaining the last video. I'm going to explain again in this video. So what EPAC is, is a digital way to bake, break products. So Upper Deck, they create the physical products like, you know, OPG Platinum, Skybox Metal, they also create they also create product that can only be opened up online on the actual EPAC platform. So what happens is, and I believe I'll get the folks from Upper Deck to correct or I'll come to you to correct, and they are watching this video, so they will definitely reach out and tell me their feedback. I've received some so far. Um, I will go so far to say it's fun to get that kind of feedback because it helps us grow, helps me grow, helps me build a better channel. So first, 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 before I start blabbing, the ComC, check out my cards or ComC or ComC.com. Uh, what happens is Upper Deck sends them all the cards uh, first that get scanned. Once they get scanned, they're ready for this EPEC digital platform. So one of the things that people have asked me, are you only buying JPEGs? No, these are actual physical cards. However, there are some cases where you do not get physical cards. They're digital only, and what you do, you can combine them to make a physical card. Um, that's a little bit complicated, and I'll save that for a little bit later for another video. But let's get into opening packs. So let's go open up the first pack here. And hopefully this is big enough. I'm looking at my other screen. It looks like it should be large enough, but uh, let's uh, let's try this. So I'm going to open up my first pack and do it the old school way. So we have Tomas Hurdle. We have Jonathan Taves. Brad Marchand. East Coaster. Uh, we have Calvin Thurkoff. And yes, it is hard to see the cards on here. This is Calvin Thurkoff and the way they would actually tell. I'll flip it over in the back and you can actually see it. And that's a rookie, so I'm going to close that. We're going to have, uh, we have a uh, Intimidation Nation of Matt Murray, and hopefully he has a better year next year. And then we have the All-Star uh, version. This is, uh, again, it's hard, hard to see the player sometimes, but this is Heischer, Nico Heischer. Uh, we have another base card of Anders Lee, and you can see this is pack one. So this is, uh, uh, we got a Hall of Famer here in Jonathan Taves. Hurdle's a good player with San Jose. Uh, Brad Marchand is a player that everyone loves to hate. Matt Murray was a player with the who won the Cup of the Penguins. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't had the best of luck on the Senators. Hopefully, he gets better over time. Heischer is really young and with the Devils. And, of course, Anders Lee is a huge fan favorite in uh, New York. So, let's go to pack, uh, next pack, shall we? Okay, so I'm just going to reposition the screen. So we have Joe Pavelski, we have Anze Kopitar, who's from Slovenia, Andrei Svechnikov, whose brother plays with Detroit, and I believe it's Evgeny Svechnikov. We have jo Josh Norris, a big player with the Senators. He's a, he's an up-and-comer. I buy a lot of his rookie cards because I think he's going to go up uh, in value, so it's a cool prospects card. And another player who's really good, but really kind of playing under the gun right now, under the radar right now, is Yegor Shingerovich uh, with the Devils. He had a good year last year. Um, I'm expecting more from him next year. This year may have been an off year. I haven't checked his stats, so I can't quite recall um, how he's doing. And then we have Freddie Anderson, who it's a bittersweet story. He was with the Leafs, my team. Unfortunately, he's with Carolina. But keep in mind, all these cards you see, some of the players are in the wrong uniform. Meaning that, like, for example, Anderson, Fred Anderson, is playing with the Canes, right? So he's picturing the Leafs uniform. It's because of COVID, it's really hard for Upper Deck to get products printed, right? So by the time they got the products printed, by the time they sent it over to CompC to get scanned, 
you know, the season's already been half, almost half over because of the All-Star game is soon. Um, and then you get the project a little bit late. I mean, as you notice, Series 1 is not coming until, I think, February this year. Normally, it's out in November. COVID's been uh, not a friendly um, uh, partner in all of this. Uh, and all the companies are fighting with each other to get things printed. So it's an interesting battle. Uh, everyone's fighting for, for trees. Okay. Um, Travis Konechny and Philadelphia's had an awful year this year. I mean, it's overall from this pack. It's got Yegor Shingerovich, rookie. All-star uh, Freddie Anderson, and you got an up-and-comer in Josh Norris. Really excited for him. I think he's going to do well this year. And you got Sveshnikov, and then you got the Slovenian himself, Andre Kopitar. So let's go to the next pack. Now I'm going to open it. Reposition my screen. And while I'm doing it, one of the interesting things is normally we're doing videos at night. I'm um, taking this during the day, so the lighting is suboptimal. My ring light makes me look very ominous, like uh, I'm doing the whole year 2000 skit from Conan O'Brien from back in the day. Yes, I'm aging myself, but hey, let's just go with it. Okay, next pack, Anders Lee again. Uh, reposition this. We got Brock Besser, an American uh, playing in Vancouver. Should be on the All-Star game. However, they're not going. That's right, should be in the Olympics, but not going. Um, got Jonathan Huberto. Um, Ty Delandrea, Eric Stahl, and we got Carol himself. So these uh, cards have picked up a lot of steam over the last little while. The net deposits, I've seen them in person, and they're fantastic. So the the one drawback of EPAC is you won't get that you know that uh, that the 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 thrill of how the card looks in person. So it's nothing like holding art. Looking at a, a, a 2D reference of art versus the actual art itself, it's difficult. So I guess that's one of the barriers to, to, to EPAC is you can't really get a chance to see that. Anyway, regardless, it's Kirill Kaprizov. He's doing really well this year. And this uh, net deposits is doing really well from an insert sales perspective on ComC. Because I've been I do a lot of a lot of stuff on ComC, a lot of sales and buying and selling. And this has definitely picked up a lot of steam. So that the key is don't buy any because I still want some myself. Okay, we have Jordan Bennington. Sorry, yeah, Jordan Bennington. It's kind of a bit of an Ed Belfour like Tennessee to him. I don't know if that's just it's all show and game. I don't know. I, he's he's got to be one of those guys. He's an interesting character. Let's go that way. Let's go to our next pack. Okay. Will we hit a precious metal gem? So should I? Let's do some. Uh, Let's try for some positive vibes and see if I can get a PMG. I would love a PMG of McDavid, Austin Matthews, um, or at least a PMG of a player that I can flip and get to Austin Matthews and McDavid. Or I'd love an OV or a Crosby. Um, if I do get one of those, that boy is coming home with me, and I get it graded whenever it's affordable to do so. We'll save that for another video. Okay, let's go to it. Alexander Barkov, Tuvo Teravainen, uh, Jack Hughes, Lucas Carlson, uh, Skybox rookie, uh, sorry, rookie prospects rather. Uh, we have an all star of Mark Giordano and Elvis Merziklins. Oh, we have one more. We got the Slovenian again, Anze Kopitar. Not a great pack. Um, it's kind of blase, but at least I'll make some. I have enough inventory on ComC. I can make these the parallels for this, a stack of parallels for this. The spectrum parallels, rather. Not purple spectrum, which I made a mistake last time. It's just, just the, you could combine the base for just the, the spectrum parallel. Okay, let's go to the next pack. Okay, let's see. Don't have my PMG. We have Johnny G, Calgary Flames, Johnny Goudreau. He's also an American, I believe. I'm going to double check. And while we're here, I might as well find out. I think they have it on the back. Yeah, he's from Salem, New Jersey. So he's another American. He probably would have gone to the Olympics had it not been uh, canceled for the players. Braden Point uh, lights it up for the for the uh, Lightning. Got the Alex. You can't go wrong with an Alex. We got Alec Regula right here. We got Nils Hoglander, um, rookie. Alexander Alexeyev. Not a bad pack. Not a bad pack. I mean, we got two good rookies here. Um they're not like the higher end rookies, but we can't go wrong with that. Go wrong with the Russian goat here. 
Now, if you got, if you think about it from a caliber perspective, Barkov's probably a future Hall of Famer. Ovechkin for sure. Johnny G and Braden, we got to see. Time has to tell. I don't quite call them Alzheimer's. All timers. I meant to say um, all stars or Hall of Famers. Let's go to our next pack. All right, let's see. I got two packs left. I can't remember what I was at. Will I get a PMG? Will the crowd get to see a PMG? I would love to see a PMG. I had a Jordan Bingham one and one in a real box. It's not a real box, a physical box. These are all real products. I keep saying it incorrectly, but uh, 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 just go with me on this. Okay, let's go. Connor. Okay, this is good because I can stack them for my parallel. Uh, Nicholas Harlmason. And I believe he used to play Chicago at one point. Let me just uh, turn over. I might be mixing him up with someone else. I probably am. Um, John Klingberg, who's been rumored to be traded. I would love to see him come to the Leafs, but we ain't we haven't got any room. Got Dylan Coughlin uh, for Vegas. He's doing a good bit well at Vegas. Got Devin Dubnik and Seth Jones All Star and Erasmus Dalin. Unfortunately, the Sabres have kind of hit a snag. So not bad. I'm happy I got the McDavid, so I can I can stack them. Uh, maybe Klingberg will be a Leaf. Who knows? Who knows? Let's uh, let's keep going. All right, all right, all right. We have... Oh man, I didn't keep track of the counter packs. I think I'm on my last one. We'll double check. So I'm going to go open. Okay, Tom Wilson, the player that everyone loves to hate. Um, number 43. Ironically, another 43 as in Nazem Kadri. Well, he changed his number now, but he's also a player that everyone loves to hate. Maybe 43 has a thing. I have to check what other 43s are out there in the league and see if they are pain in people's butts. Let's go. Let's see. What do I get? Uh, Sid, we got Sid. Okay, I'm good with this because I can stack him too. There's nothing going wrong with a Sid. So one of the great things about EPAC is you can stack the base. So it's not just base. You know, whenever you you break products, you, you got loads and loads of base. You got nothing to do with it, right? You don't you don't want to have anything to do with it. You want to get rid of it. In this case, you can make it worth your while by stacking them. Jonathan Druan. Jordan Bingdon, Intimidation Nation. It's kind of fitting. He is a bit of a, a case, I guess. I guess Intimidation Nation fits for him. Uh, there's a couple other people on Intimidation Nation that they're silent but deadly, but not uh, uh, someone you'd love to hate or anything. Uh, this is Hoglander, I believe. Uh, I always have trouble reading the card. No, Ole Yulia Levy, another Vancouver prospect. An Anthony Duclair All Star and a Rantanen. Now, what I like about the Ranton, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed. By the way, I have one pack left. Uh, if anybody's ever noticed this pack, you got to love the look on this this uh, face on uh, the pictures. Now, I know Upper Deck has a hard job of picking, actually, all the manufacturers have an impossible job of picking stock photography to go with all this. But I just like the, the grimacing look on this, this face. I got to see him play live. So it's an interesting, interesting player, to say the least. He's fully talented. Um, the other thing I wanted to show out, and I haven't had a chance, and I haven't, and I've forgotten on previous videos, is we actually look at the artwork on this. So you can see in the background, it's got this bit of a starry night kind of cosmos, um, a feel to it, and you can see it's busting through the metal. So it's kind of a cool motif. Um, reminds me a lot of the the '90s version of other inserts. Um, of course, metal and skybox metal has been around for a while from other perspectives, but it's the first time for a while for uh, since 12, 13. Actually, sorry, I believe that was called Fleer Retro back then, so it's not the same product. Apologies. Okay, I got one pack left. Will I hit my PMG? Please let me hit my PMG. Oh, I've had bought these packs. Literally, I bought these packs like a month ago. They've just been sitting there. Or not a month ago, I would say a few weeks ago. So after my last pack break, whenever that happened, I'll have to go back and look. I believe it was a week ago, and I just had these sitting in the ether. So... Um, you actually say you can actually see these packs were in my other videos, but anyway, someone can correct me or I can correct myself. Um, I might be a little uh, over exaggerating how long it's been in my cart, but regardless, I'm happy to break it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, McDavid. Okay, good. So that's two. I got the stack two. Um, so I just need three more, and I'm pretty sure I have three more in my cart in my account. 
Matt Murray, Tom Wilson, Ty Smith, Ryan Rowley. I don't think I'm going to hit a PMG. Oh, I got Intimidation Nation. Now, here's an interesting thing. This guy seems super nice. It's nothing intimidating about him from an like he's intimidating in terms of he's really good. But he's not a mean guy. So it's a bit of a weird card. I'll have to talk to Billy about that one. Anyways. Anders Lee. And that's it. So I'm gonna show you all my new items. I sadly I didn't get a PMG. But uh, really quickly you can see uh one thing I didn't mention in my last video, which I'll show you really quickly here. Um, if I'm just looking at the current break, you can see I got two Andre Kopitars. And you can see I need uh, three more to stack. So when this number hits five, these are free to stack. Do I have any stackable ones here? Let's check. If I do, I'll just do it live with you all. Nope. I'm pretty sure I don't have five of any of them. No, I do not. Um, but you can see in my eight packs, I got about two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, well, 20, 20, 20 to 30 base cards. I got a pretty good smattering of rookies, so no doubles. So I got Alexeyev, Del Andre, Thurkov, Oli Ulyalevi, Hoglander, Shangarevich, and Ty Smith. These two guys I'm really high on. Um, these guys have to still prove themselves. Um, then you got Mel Universe All Stars. So I've got some pretty good smattering there. I'm pretty happy with this one. This is a this is a card that's gonna go up, so I'm pretty happy with that uh, in value. So um, not thousands of dollars, but a few bucks here and there. Intimidation Nation. So let's look. Bennington for sure fits the Intimidation Nation motif. Matt Murray doesn't seem like a mean guy either, but he did win a Stanley Cup, so I guess he's a mean. He's a uh, intimidator, and Freddie just doesn't seem like an opposing uh, guy to get in your face. And then our rookies from the Premium Prospects, Josh Norris, I'm really ex excited about. I bought a lot of his stuff. And the rest I don't know so much about, but Dylan Coughlin, I believe, is doing pretty good with uh, Vegas. Again, you guys who are probably following hockey closer than I am, mind you, do follow hockey quite closely. Um, this is uh, my take on my EPAC break, break. So, anyways, I want to say thank you for stopping by, reviewing the break with me, and going through the packs. Um, next up, I'm going to probably go into breaking some non-sport. I'll just show you really quickly what they have in the non-sport uh, section and just as a teaser for what's coming up. So I probably won't touch either this or golf. The price is just too much uh, for these two. Um, I'm probably going to do some of the X-Men Metal, which I really like, and then James Bond. So if some, any of you out there are big James Bond fans and, or, or Metal uh, Marvel products, sorry, Marvel fans, I'll open that. Um, there's also this product here. I don't know too much about it, uh, but I believe it's a, a player of the week kind of thing. Uh, Overwatch is the esports gaming league, and there's extended, but I've, I've I've worn out my own welcome with extended. I don't think I'll buy any more of that. Alien Three, I love the movies, but I don't want to really buy the cards. Um, decades, sorry, ages. I'm probably gonna buy a lot more of this. I really like the parallels that are in here. The comic clipping, the sketch cards are really cool. And I love the digital autograph versions. And I'll go into more detail when I buy the products. So you actually understand what's inside it. But there's a decades parallel that's in here. That's really sweet. I love the look of it. Um, but I'll save that for another video because I want to create more content. I haven't really touched Cloak and Dagger. Um, for the Canadian guys out here, like me, there is CFL in here as well. Uh, there's Mickey Mouse. Uh, there's other Marvel products. Anyways, I won't go in. Uh, boiling the ocean here, but you can see there's quite a few products that are going to come. I believe in the next couple of weeks, maybe under maybe at least two or three weeks, you'll see OPG Platinum show up here. I'm really waiting for that, so I definitely will be busting some of that. But I want to thank you all for stopping by. Uh, please continue to check us out. Please hit the like and subscribe to our channel. Our goal this year is to double our subscribership, so we started the year around 243. I'd love to see that to go to to, to, to be doubled. Um, really, the goal for Kent and I is that if we can double our subscribership, it means our content is interesting. It tells Google and YouTube that it's interesting, and you get to see more stuff like this. So remember, don't be shy. Place comments. We respond to all of them. We love you all. Stay good.